how are we doing? I hope everyone is well. Yesterday was absolutely brilliant. We've actually just arrived at Oxford. Oh, look at that. It's a busy day, very exciting. I am ready to head into London. Oh my God, this plant, and that is how far it has grown since Sunday. Stunning. Last night could have been one of the best. I think I could go as far as saying last night was one of the best nights of my life. It is, let me come down a bit. <laughs> it is Monday the 26th of February and today I'm starting my weekly vlog. So if you are new here, my name is Steph. How are we all doing? We've got a lot on this week. I'm not going to lie to you. There is a lot to get through. So I'm going to be taking you with me and basically there's loads of different work commitments happening across the week. So today I'm actually driving to Oxford University because I'm doing a talk about careers and being a woman in business and how I started everything, which I'm really excited about. So I have to leave about 3.30, get there slightly before the event, find somewhere to just settle and work, do the event and then come come home this evening basically I've got stuff to cram through before then so I've got a campaign um, that I shot last week that I need to edit now and send off for approval by midday then I'm gonna get ready pack everything up get everything ready for the event and then head to Oxford tomorrow I've got an event with a law firm which is very exciting and we're also meeting our marketing agency for careers that we've just bought on board Wednesday I've got a really cool brand event and then a friend of mine is coming to stay for the weekend and we've got loads of fun activities planned so it's gonna be a mixture of me taking you with me behind some of the work stuff that I do as well as some of the like downtime stuff that I'm doing as well this week. I will be honest, everything to do with my career right now is it's different every day. Every single day is different. Some days it's shooting brand campaigns. Some days it's working on behind the scenes things for careers. We've got our first ever influencer activation event for careers is next week. So in between all of the different in-person meetings that I've got this week. It's also finalising and planning that. So it's a dining experience. It's an immersive sensory experience across five to six courses. Not sure if it's going to be in this vlog or the next one, but I'm really excited about it and I cannot wait. And um, there's 18 people coming and I need to liaise with them all, make sure that everyone can come. We need to confirm numbers this week, send out the official invitations that we've had printed and made. And yeah, it's going to be a really exciting evening and this week is really full on. So I have a call now with a wellness festival in London and Manchester that I'm pitching a uh, career for and then I've got to edit this brand campaign get ready and get on the road to head into Oxford so I'm probably gonna have my head down for the next few hours and I will check in with you when I'm on route hello my love we've actually just arrived at Oxford I was gonna drive myself and then I thought you know what I'm gonna go early I'm gonna miss rush hour I'll take myself for a little dinner so I thought my mum along Hello. Hello. Well, I say I thought my mum. She offered to drive, bless her, so that I could work on the way here. And we've come, we've got here about, it's about half past five, so we've got an hour and a half to have a yummy dinner mm -hmm. and then head over to the college for tonight's talk. But the place is so beautiful, isn't stunning. it? Stunning. Absolutely It's stunning. Oxford City. Yeah. It's so gorgeous. The buildings, we've got a gorgeous sunset going on here. I'm just very excited that we've got time for a little explore, to be honest. Obviously, still have the roller in my hair because that is very much my branding at this point. So I think I might have to go for dinner with the roller my hair. Will you be embarrassed? Yes. No, I don't You're going to have to get over that. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? I actually did the Oxford Half Marathon in October, but I blocked it out, so I completely forgot that I even did it. Well, now we're driving around. I'm like, oh my god, I ran there, I ran there, I ran there. So yeah, it's really nice to relive it and not be dying a sweaty, painful death. Let me show you. Let me show you what we can see. That's where the, we walked at like seven o'clock in the morning in the pitch black. And then all along here, Beautiful the next buildings. traffic light, turn right onto Beaumont Street. It's like going back in time, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, you keep, uh, can you uh, just keep an eye? Oh, look at this over here, look. Oh, wow. Henry VIII vibes. Oh, look at that. That's wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Hello, so I feel like I got absolutely no content of last night. I mean, I don't feel like, I know for a fact that I didn't. But when I say, oh, I just wish it was in the daytime, the buildings were just exceptional like I've got a bit of footage on my phone that I'll put here but like nothing that does it justice and I was just blown away and we walked past the library and it was like going back in time and it was really really beautiful and then we went into the room and I did my talk it was kind of a Q&A style which was great and then everyone tried careers and they had loads of questions at the end and it was just a really beautiful evening I'll be honest I'm, I'm not the best at kind of public speaking and stuff it's something that I'm still working on and it was a really good experience to be in a live environment with literally our target demographic like we'd love to get careers into universities and really encouraging um, less drinking in university students and it was really great to get feedback from them they asked loads of questions about the development process and about the business side of things i really enjoyed it the questions that they asked were actually really really good like a lot of questions have not been asked before which was really good practice as well so it was a lovely evening and then we drove home and got back quite late last night so this morning i have just been working away we actually have a meeting today in london we've just signed a new marketing and pr agency for careers so someone that is going to help us put together different strategies
allergies, which is amazing. And I love that everyone is so supportive and willing to try and actually really enjoying it. But we want to reach an audience greater than me. Like my goal is for Carews to be bought and people to have no idea who I am. I would love them to be like, oh, have you heard of this new drink? It's Carews. And no one has any idea who the hell I am. That is the goal. So we're hopefully bringing them on board to increase that reach and a strategy to do so. And we've got a meeting with them today to discuss the first shoot that they've done for us, which is really exciting. And then this evening we are going to a Morrison Forster event. So that's a law firm that I did a talk for last year um, and they put on amazing Mo Founders events where they're basically elevating the voices of entrepreneurs and business people. Let me read you the little blurb about tonight because I'm really excited about it. Lewis and I are going together. So it's called Adaptive Leadership, Lessons in Leadership from the Rugby Field to the Boardroom and it's basically three top rugby players that have now moved into business showing their experience going from professional sport into a business environment and obviously that aligns with Lewis because of his background and also kind of to a point me because performing to then being a business is a transition that might be relatively similar. So on the whole, it's a busy day, very exciting. I've actually got a call for Dry Disco now, well in 10 minutes. We are speaking about potentially bringing an event to Manchester this year. Don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but I just have. So we've got a call about that now. And then there's a few bits and bobs that I need to do before getting on a train into London. So I'll crack on with that and then bring you with me when we head on in. So I am ready to head into London. I am actually just packing up my little briefcase. Oh, do you know what? I've not used this little bag in so long that I found this book, Lost Connections in it, that I thought I lost. The irony is not lost on me. Anyway, um, heading into London now. So I'm gonna just crack on, plan for the meeting and do a few bits and bobs that I have not had a chance to do. Um, so for example, not that this is exciting or interesting in the slightest, but we're re-evaluating our SEO strategy at the moment for Cruise. We're just kind of allocating the keywords that we want to focus on in terms of what will be searchable for on Google and kind of try to increase our Google rating because at the moment you Google Cruise and it comes up with the definition of the word which is not ideal. So we are hoping to look into how to change that and I've also got a reel to edit tonight. So I am going to run for a train with a roller in my hair because that is very much like I said yesterday my brand at this point. And then I will after the meeting head towards the city. I think I'm going to leave my camera at home I'll be honest. I'll just take my phone so I'm switching to Steph Cam now. loves how are we doing so it is now what day is it oh my god I should know that Wednesday it is Wednesday yesterday was absolutely brilliant so I headed into London to meet our marketing and PR team I feel like up until this point we've been in our kind of phase one of launch and it's been basically getting the product out there liquid on lips getting the name out there and then this is now we're moving into phase two where we really want to show up as we want to be seen in the industry and really build our target consumers right so we put together a strategy plan for the next three months that we will review monthly and then obviously quarterly learning the flow planning the shoots for all of that so they're actually taking over our social media in terms of putting together how it looks what we say tone of voice and just giving an extra bit of guidance from a professional uh, perspective it's really exciting and then Lewis and I head I actually just worked from a coffee shop for a little bit and then Lewis and I headed to the event at McCann Bespoke so this is a British bespoke tailoring place where they make just gorgeous suits it's in the heart of the city and the shop is amazing it's on two floors so downstairs is like the main suit area and then upstairs is a bar got there and the event was basically lessons in leadership with four of probably the most decorated rugby players of all time so there was a woman called rocky clark from the women's team she's amazing there was jamie roberts ryan jones and ollie phillips and their talk was so insightful and so brilliant really insightful and Carews was actually on the bar so went there last night and could actually order a Carews at the bar which was amazing and i don't know why but basically this this law firm mofo asked me to be involved in a panel talk last year and they've really been nurturing me as an entrepreneur since and I'm actually now a client of theirs and they're looking after all my legal stuff and they're just 
honestly brilliant and the connections that I've made and the people that I've met throughout has been really 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 exciting so Lewis and I then got back late last night then today I'm heading into London for a Volvo event that is this evening and then we're staying in London tonight as well but I probably have five minutes before I need to pack because there's a few things that I need to sort and finish for next week's event but I do feel like I'm sprinting on quicksand where I'm just moving constantly but not going anywhere anyway so I am going to just sort some of the events for some of the just finalize the guest list for next week get all the allergen information so I can send it over to the chef's table get that all sorted um and then head into London for the Volvo event and it's I'm really excited about it and I will take you with me. And I'll be honest, it is such a privilege to work with a brand that puts safety and sustainability at the forefront of everything they do. And there's just so many things that I'm learning about them as a brand and as their brand ethos and who they are at their core that aligns so much with everything that I do. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on with that and I will check in with you when Lewis and I get to London. Right, so let me give you a tour of our room. Here we have our little entryway. We've got this big old bed that is ours for the evening. Lots of lovely decor. Here is our little prince. And then we've got the hustle and bustle of London outside, which you cannot hear at all. In here, we've got our bathroom and there's like a rooftop um, bar area that we'll go to later. There's a restaurant, there's a coffee shop. So we're gonna unpack and get settled now. how we feel so we had the day um to explore all of the different rooms and stuff and basically there were different sections of this amazing warehouse that were all kitted out to describe the four different internal designs what do you call it the internal rooms of the cars that are four different designs yeah so we went to each section and there was indigo um where there was the upcycling denim workshop with annie we had mist breeze and then pine we made our own perfumes lou do you want to talk about your perfume it smelled like shit. <laughs> we basically had essential oils that we could combine together to make our own scents. So it was a really cool day. And then we came, we actually went for a pizza. And then we went back this evening for more of like a party vibe. And they had like Carews behind the bar. And there was a DJ. Which was amazing. Was, and can Carews we please, can we please talk about the fact that Harry Judd from McFly came over and said, I'm drinking your drink. That was pretty sick. 16 year old me was screaming. It was amazing. But all in all, what a day we've had, right? Very good. Good morning. We are heading down to breakfast because I have 45 minutes. Anyway, we're gonna head down to breakfast. Let's go. Guys, I did a Barry's class and it was basically about a 1K walk away and I was running late. So I had a little jog there as my warm up. Um, and then I headed on into the class and I have not done a Barry since pre COVID. And I've been on obviously a running journey since then. And when I used to go to Barry's, I hope this doesn't come across as big headed because I have been on a journey and I've been really working really hard to increase my running ability, right? Before lockdown, I could only just do the beginner speeds. I was always just under the beginner speeds and like struggling. Today, I managed to do the intermediate speeds consistently throughout the class. And I feel so good. I feel like I'm still not a super fast runner, right? Like my 5K, my 10K times aren't anything to shout about. But I felt like capable. And that was such a nice feeling. And then I got my favorite smoothie that I've not had from ages from Barry's. We're gonna be late. So yeah, we're now gonna go and head and work from George House. And I'll probably check in with you when I'm at home. See ya. Hello, I am home. Guys, I've just realized today's a bonus day. It is the 29th of February, which doesn't usually exist. Oh my God, this plant has grown back. I don't know if you watched my vlogs last year, but look at that. And that is how far it has grown since Sunday, five days of growth. 
stunning so then i messaged my friend callum and i was like oh do you want to come meet us we're just chilling having lunch da, 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 da. so he did and it was so lovely so we had a lovely lunch together and then we all had a bit of laptop time and then lou and i headed back and i'm actually getting ready now because my friend molly who lives in cornwall is coming to stay with us for the weekend and i'm so excited saturday we're going to an exhibition in london and then having a lovely roast together on sunday which is going to be a lovely few days before i head to go and pick her up and then um yeah i will check in when she is here i'm so excited good morning so yesterday we ended up having such a chill day and i didn't check in with you at all but basically we did nothing i think we went on a, it was torrential rain all morning and then when there was a glimmer of sun we went on a little walk then we actually just headed to the gym and there's like a sauna and a steam room and an ice bath there and then today we're actually going to the vna um the vna museum because there's two exhibitions i really want to see and they're closing very soon so one is called diva and one is called i want to say it's called coco or coco chanel and it's all about the lives of different designers and different dresses and it's supposed to be incredible so we're heading there now and I am really looking forward to it my loves how are we doing i did not vlog at all yesterday and let me explain why so i actually had a full day off and it was stunning sunday is my long run day right so i meet my friend christy and we go on different long runs every week and our longest run yesterday was 16.2 kilometers which is only 5k off our half marathon and it felt really comfortable and really enjoyable so i'm really proud of us for that and then afterwards molly came back from london her mum came over for a roast dinner and we all just chilled and then we had again the earliest night and i feel like i'm probably two early nights away from feeling amazing do you know what i mean like one early night doesn't just suddenly make you bounce back i feel like i need a nice early night tonight and a nice early night tomorrow and then I will feel great by Wednesday which I'm really excited about but I've been sent a hamper and it's gorgeous so I'm gonna unbox it on camera for you this is it it's from Deliciously Ella who I am a huge fan of so basically I tagged them um on my long runs I've started having the Deliciously Ella bars these ones look this is so exciting um so got a little tote bag oh no that's an, is that an apron oh my god it's an apron i thought it was a tote bag that is so cute that is adorable so i've got a little apron but these are the bars that i'm obsessed with on my long runs so that's the peanut butter oat bar we've got an apple and raisin we've got a cacao and orange we've got a golden tagliolini which is pasta made with turmeric we've got some oh vegan basil pesto unreal vegan mediterranean sun-dried pe tomato pesto lewis can't have either of those things so i will be enjoying them by myself i've got a little deliciously ella woolly hat oh my god that's adorable these are freaking 10 out of 10 if you haven't tried these you bloom and need to they're so freaking good then oh, these are also amazing i've not tried the chocolate orange dipped almonds but i have tried these are like sea salt salted chocolate dipped almonds which are 10 out of 10 this is literally my dream hamper if anyone is watching this and wants to get me a gift for my birthday in april this is pretty much it roasted hazelnut switch swiss chocolate here we've got a nutty granola with cashews almonds hazelnuts and plenty of crunch that's the granola which looks divine crunchy vanilla biscuits with rolled oats these would be good pre-run as well actually and then lastly oh i'm excited crunchy and creamy roasted and salted peanut butter Again, one for me and not Lewis. And then creamy chocolate and roasted hazelnut butter. Oh, what a dream. I have been well and truly spoiled. And then I'll be honest, this week, 
I'm just a little bit stressed because we have our big careers event on Thursday. It's our first influencer activation and I just don't want to give them a shit time because I want to give them an, an experience to remember. I'm stressed about it. So I'm just finalising now the goodie bags. Everything for the goodie bags should be arriving tomorrow, I believe. So then I can make up those goodie bags, plan my journey into London and make sure that's all sorted. And then we just want to do loads of personal touches within the goodie bags. So I'm hoping that we still have time to do that because it has literally crept up on us so quickly. And then if the concept works and it's something that looks enjoyable and we managed to create good content that would make it kind of aspirational to anyone watching it is something that we would like to launch to the public if it, if it works and if it is a good experience so it's a lot of pressure riding on this event but very exciting all the same so i'm gonna crack on with work now and i will see you tomorrow yes i'm still in the same jumper as yesterday it is now tuesday the 5th march it is two days until the event and i am working on the table plan lastminute.com the table seat's 18 and I need to work out where everyone is going to make sure that they have a good time, they're with people that they know, but also meeting new people. With this event, it is our first influencer event and I want it to be a success because multiple reasons, obviously there's very influential people coming that have a profile that could shout about Cruise and the concept, which is great. In all honesty, it's an extremely selfish evening because I've invited people that are hugely inspiring to me and I just want to meet them and have a great time. So as much as it is about the brand, it's also about me spending time with people that really, really inspire me that I'm a little bit obsessed with. I think there's so many incredible people doing amazing things online at the moment, especially around the sober space, the vegan space, the wellness space. And we've kind of invited people that cross all of those industries. And I think social media can be a really bad place for many reasons, but on the whole, I think it can be a bloody great place too. And I'm hoping that some of their good people will follow our page and we'll meet new good people and then grow the brand with good people that love us. And sometimes you can get a lot of big personalities, but I just wanna make sure that everyone feels comfortable, safe. They can have conversations with people they feel familiar with, but maybe even branch out to meet new people. So yeah, I really need to just get my head down and sort my shit out today. But this isn't a therapy session, is it? No, it's not. So I'm gonna turn off the camera, get this table plan sorted and, um, check in with you guys in a little bit hello my loves just before 10 and i'm actually gonna go to bed because um i've not spoken to you at all today i've just been sorting goodie bags um sending over final arrangements for tomorrow and then also trying to smash through as much work as i can today so that tomorrow there's like a few less things to worry about but I'll be honest i've just tried to try on outfits for tomorrow and it did not go well so basically um i had a vision in my mind of what i wanted to wear what i wanted it to look like and how i wanted it to come together and it just did not hit and it's just oh, i've just gone into a bit of a whirlwind of negative body image which is fine those days come and go especially close to my period and i'm aware of them however it's just not ideal and rather than ruminating in those thoughts i feel like because i very rarely leave the house for like glamorous occasions and this is hilarious because i set the dress code i could have just said jeans and a nice top um but i said go fill out full glam dress to impress because I just thought it'd be so nice for everyone to dress up because I love dressing up when I feel good but because I don't leave the house that much it feels daunting and like I'm hosting 17 other people for dinner tomorrow and they're all people that I know and inspire me hugely but the thought of it is actually I'm dreading it and I know that it's going to be like it's amazing it's everything that we want to do for the brand and stuff but I just feel a little bit underprepared socially so I'm going to take myself to bed sleep it off because right now I feel a bit crap to be honest so yeah I will see you in the morning when hopefully I have more of personality and feel ready to seize the day. <laughs> well my hands it's amazing what an early night and a little lick of fake tan can do my mood has definitely improved and i feel like a new woman so i'm just sorting out everything for this evening we have little envelopes with everyone's names on with a card going inside we also have one of our sponsors is the conversation cards from diary of a ceo everyone is leaving with a pack of the conversation cards but on everyone's placemat they sent an extra pack so that there can be one conversation card in each envelope so when people arrive it's there and ready to go we then have these little cruise cards to go in those envelopes as well with a little poem that I shall read you now. We've actually just been sent the final menu for this evening. It's going to be spectacular. There is a six course tasting menu that is going to be phenomenal and they've read through, I don't want to, well to be fair when this goes out it will be after people have attended so people arrive with a Carew's Drift and Pomegranate 
spritz topped with soda served in a champagne flute as a welcome drink. There's an amuse-bouche and it's a series of small simple sensory tests. There's breaking bread which is a bread course with nutty flavours and there's a Carew's Drift cocktail with cranberry, blood orange and lime served in golden goblets. Then there is a mini seaweed and tofu burger where Carew's Uplift is served with a cola kombucha and then there is a celeriac pumpernickel and shallot jus with truffle where there is going to be a Carew's Uplift and hibiscus infusion. Then there's a cranberry and beetroot dish and then there is a hyperfoods sweet rich delicious dessert containing ingredients with cancer fighting molecules in the flavours of chocolate and passion fruit. That sounds banging I'm so excited and the team that we've got the group that's coming is really really lovely positive group so I think the atmosphere in there is going to be amazing as well. So then on the card it's just got a little poem that says hello and welcome take a seat what we have planned is quite the treat as kitchen theory prepares your food Caruso is here to set the mood. Sit back relax no need to sway we've set the stage ready to play drift and uplift will be your guide as we embark on this joint ride it's not a meal for it's a show but have no fear we'll ease in slow bold flavors dance upon each plate with magic tastes to celebrate let's raise up your glass with cheer as the sensory start is near candles are lit burning to ember this night is one that you'll remember that's what we hope for with carouse all of the fun without the booze occasions that you won't forget we hope this is your best meal yet so i'm really excited and we're all going full glam because i feel like we just never have any excuses to dress up so why not make one and then in the goodie bag we have a combination of different things going in there from non-alk spirits to all sorts so we've got the Carew's goodie bags a little tote bag with the conversation cards going in there so everyone leaves with a pack of the diary of a CEO conversation cards which they've very kindly given to us and they're bloody brilliant I must say we've then got Chimmy Love which is a chimichurri sauce they're a vegan brand that do mayos and other delicious condiments so we've got a chimichurri for everyone to leave with and also a jalapeno mayonnaise and then we've also included a bottle of each drift and uplift from Carew's so everyone can leave with that it's a lot of glass in the bag but hopefully their commutes home aren't too long and then we've got a Fentiman's mixer in there as well so they have something to cook with to serve their drinks with to mix their drinks with and then they've got conversation cards as well for if ever they want to host a dinner party because they're brilliant in those environments so all systems are go we have to leave in about three and a half hours so i need to load the car with other decorations for the room finish off these cards get everything ready and sorted and then we will head on into london it's going to be really exciting hello so we have arrived in london we are literally the road parallel to where the event is this evening and we've got half an hour to kill before my assistant gets here and we can go and fully fully set up but i'm actually going to finish my makeup because i thought it was better to leave super early and miss all of the rush hour traffic rather than trying to get here during rush hour but we actually just went to the venue and it's down a muse and it's really inconspicuous and you wouldn't know it was there unless you were like looking for it and so Lou's gone in and you've actually seen it haven't you yeah. I haven't seen it yet so I'm a little bit nervous but you said I should be getting excited did you say wow when you walked in when I when I said this place looks amazing um they said oh this is nothing yet really yeah okay so Christ well I'm gonna get glammed up and I'll be a different person in 30 minutes talk about last night last night could have been one of the best i think it, i could go as far as saying last night was one of the best nights of my life so let's set the scene shall we 18 guests including myself and the venue is so inconspicuous so it's down a muse and you don't expect there to be a full-on like michelin star style restaurant underneath so we got there and when you walk in it looks like an apartment building with a really old-fashioned style lift and then you go down to the basement and it's this all black room with moody lighting and everything like that and we were welcomed with welcome drinks that were crews and then we were taken through different sensory experiences where we were put on headphones and we listened to the story of kitchen theory and then we went into another room and there was like a sensory experience and then we sat down and the tasting menu began. So we started with the amuse-bouche that basically took the colour and texture out of fruits and vegetables and we had to guess what they were in the form of jellies and all of us were like this is such a familiar flavour but I have no idea what it is and then when he told us we were like oh my god that is so true 
And then when we first sat down, we had a nose plug and then we had to eat this sweet and we could taste absolutely nothing, remove the nose plug and then all of the flavor came rushing in and it was just amazing. And then the courses themselves took us on a journey. So the first course was a bread course and he explained the ritual and religious symbols behind breaking bread with friends and family. In front of us, it was this, it was theater, like it was this theatrical experience. And he had these things on the table and he poured flour and water and then he added fire and then it all started blowing up with fire and then he put a lid on, lifted the lid and it was bread. Like I just cannot explain it. I also don't want to give too much away because the, the plan is with, because we are mood enhancing immersive drinks, we want to create these immersive experiences that match your mood and they make memories that you will want to remember for a long time. So usually with a tasting menu, you pair it with wine and so many people around the table said, that by course four or five, they would have been so tipsy from the wine that they wouldn't be appreciating the food or the conversation and things just get a little bit more sloppy. Whereas because we were all drinking Carew's cocktails paired with every course, it was just perfection. Like I cannot even explain it. It was just beautiful. And they made cocktails that looked like wine and they made, we were drunk, drinking out of like golden chalices and it was the most surreal experience and I spoke to a few guys and they were like oh my god this is the best influencer event I've ever been to like it's something I'm never gonna forget and that's what we wanted to create we wanted to make sure that it was an experience that would start conversation in the future and you'd look back and be like oh my god I can't even believe I did that and we want to do that and build a community with crews around sober sober curious people that just enjoy positive experiences and for the first time in a long time I just kind of I just looked around the room and I just felt so proud whenever I closed my eyes and thought about and events. Last night was exactly what I was picturing, like dark, mysterious, visual, sensory experiences. I'm so happy and I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here because I don't really, I wanna just digest this feeling, otherwise the vlog is gonna be about two hours long, but thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more updates and like this kind of intertwined some of the business stuff into it rather than just being like a weekly vlog and stuff. So if you have enjoyed that, then please let me know because I'm still very much finding my feet with YouTube. I absolutely love it. I love the community that we have on here and I love chatting to you guys every week, even though I'm very aware that I've missed two weeks worth of videos because things have just been chaos. But if you do like seeing this kind of stuff, please let me know. But yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. And I hope to see you again very, very soon. Lots of love. Bye.